Got an 06 Camry we're working on today, uh, doing a clutch on it. If you look up the labor time, it says to do a clutch on this. They're all four cylinders, by the way, in 06, if it's a, st a standard transmission. A little st st standard stutter for you. But basically, it's a long process job. It's like 10.6 hours. Most people do it in 13. They drop the cross member, and it's a real pain in the butt. It's really high on the labor time. Um, the reason for all of this, you have to pull the motor. The book says to pull the motor. Uh, if you look and ask around, people say you don't have to pull the member, motor, but you have to pull the cross member to get to the clutch. My finding is this. What I did is you'll see that the cross member is still intact. It's still bolted on. And I've got the transmission sticking up through, resting on the cross member. I pulled off the wire harness bracket and it just fits right up in there and you say well the transmission's not out how do you change a clutch well there's the input shaft right there you can see the clutch fork I've got access enough to where I can get the throw out bearing on and off get it done I have access to all of the clutch components by way of uh, the bolts to get the pressure plate off I can reach my whole hand, arm, wrist, everything up in there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do it from above. But see, here's the nuts that, or bolts that you need to take the pressure plate off of. I can line all that up and I can reach in there to get a clutch pilot tool in. So basically what I'm saying is you don't have to pull the motor. You don't have to pull the cross member. Um, you do have to pull the motor mount in the front. The one on the side is completely out, it's sitting over there. And then the one in the rear, the torque strut mount, that's back for the CV axle, you have to pull that out. And so what's holding up the motor? A good old standard wood block and a hydraulic jack. You gotta be careful when you're doing this. If you jack too far, it'll start to lift the rest of the car and the weight of the car will crush the oil pan. If you do it just enough only to, you see this isn't quite level, it's a little bit down on the right side. That's about where you want it. But if you do this, it'll save you a lot of time. This cuts the labor time pretty much in half. So you don't have to drain the antifreeze, you don't have to disconnect the air conditioning, you don't have to, if you drop the cross member, some people will wire up the rack and pinion. And the, the other bad thing about dropping the cross member, I'm going to sound like a real weenie to some mechanics, is you have to pull the, these uh, stabilizer links for the sway bar and they're rusted on these. They use really, really crappy low grade steel. You wind up just having to replace the stabilizer links because they get hacked. Yeah, this is an 06. It's only three years old but they rust bad fast. So Anyway, I hope this is helpful to you. Um, I kind of took a gamble. It was just kind of like crossing my fingers. You know, my birthday was this week, and I'm just feeling lucky still. Like, everything's been going my way. So I thought, dude, I'm not going to pull the cross member in, or a K-frame. Yeah, it's a K-member, whatever you want to call it. Um, I didn't want to pull the motor either, so I thought I'll try this and see what happens. And as you look in there, there's enough room to get that transmission in there. That was a big old gaping hole before. I thought, you know what, I bet that'll fit. And it does. So, if you like this video, be sure to rate and subscribe. Put any comments below. It doesn't even matter what your comment is. Just, you know, thanks a lot. That's a great comment. I always appreciate getting some thank yous. Or if you found some tips. Or if you have questions. Uh, even if it doesn't pertain to this particular one, feel free to ask. I check my comments almost all every day. So, anyway, cheers. Okay, so here's the detail on the clutch we're doing on the Toyota Camry. As it turns out, everything worked out really well to just scoot the transmission in the thing, like we said. I pulled the clutch out, and there's plenty of room to get your hands in there, do what you need to do. So here's what the findings are. This is the old clutch. As you look at it, there aren't any lines going across here. It's all smoothed out right there. Flip it over, and you can see those rivets are just shining. They're just worn down to nothing. So.
pilot bearing, throttle bearing. But here's the lines I was talking about that should be there. Look at the other side, you can see how deep it is to get into those rivets. So, looks like we nailed it and this will take care of things, make it better.